Hey guys, Lead Code series is back. So over the past few months, Lead Code has added a number of new questions in hard, medium, and easy categories. And there are some old questions which we are yet yet to solve on this channel. So about hundred questions we are going to cover in this stretch. Also, before I move forward, I have a small question for you guys. Would it be helpful for any of you if I reach out to platforms like Lead Code, Strata Scratch, etc., to ask them whether that they can offer a discount on their subscription plans? I know some of you might have thought about taking this subscription, but obviously the cost is very high. So let me know if there are enough of you interested. Let me know in the comment section below, and I can put up a case in front of them to ask whether whether they can give us some rebate. But I cannot promise you right now what they will come up with. But yeah, if there are enough of you, let me know in the comment section, and I can build a strong case in front of them. So yeah, let's move on to the video. So in this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding second day verification. The difficulty level of this question is easy and I will share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay. The question reads, we are given a table called emails with three different columns, email ID, user ID, and sign up date. These are the data types. The combined column email ID and user ID is the primary key that is combination of columns with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains the email ID, user ID, and the sign up date. We are also given a second table called text with four different columns, text ID, email ID, sign up action, and action date. These are the data types. Text ID and email ID is the primary key for this table. Sign up action is an enum type which can take values verified or not verified. Each row of this table contains the text ID, email ID, sign up action and action date. Okay. We are asked to write a solution to find the user IDs of those who verified their sign up on the second day. So return the result table ordered by user ID in ascending order. Okay. Let's go through this example and see what is required in our output. So we are given two different tables, emails as well as the text. So if we look at these three different emails, right? 125. 433 and 234 so 125 by user id 7771 was signed up on 14th of june 2022 and let's see when was this verified so 125 was verified on 15th of june so obviously this particular user id verified the email on the next day of the sign up date so user id 7771 should be in our output if we look for 1052 so email id 433 it is not verified so it should not be in our output and 7005 signed up on 28th of august and verified on 21st of august so it should be in our output as well so user id 771 and 7005 should be in our output but should be ordered in increasing order so 7005 and then 771 should be in the output and that is what we have so to solve this question what we need to do is we need to perform a inner join why because the information that we want is we want the user id to be in the output However, we also need to check whether the difference between the sign up date and the action date is one day or not. Also, sign up action should be verified. So we need to perform a join. Now, why did I say an inner join? Because if you have the information about the sign up date, but not of the action date or whether it was signed verified or not you cannot check for that similarly if you have the information about the verified or not and the action date but you do not have that information in the emails table then also it does not is helpful so what we can do is let's perform the inner join so from this table called emails let's alias this as e inner join the table called text as t and then you can use the email id column if the name of the column is same in both the tables that you are joining on you can use the using clause so using and in parentheses you can write the name of the common column so email id let me go ahead and keep the required column so let me keep all the three columns from the emails table you can keep every column does not matter but i just want to avoid redundancy so e dot star so keep all the three columns in this text we are only concerned about the sign up action and the action date so e dot sign up action and keep the t dot action date column okay let me go ahead and run this and see what do we have in our output so if I scroll down, let me just drag it above. So if I scroll down, so this is what we have right now. So you have the email ID, user ID and sign up date coming from the email table and then the sign up action and action date. Now what we need to check is question ask us to say whether the sign up was verified. So obviously we need to keep only those rows where sign up action is verified. So let's keep only those rows where sign up action and when 
where is this column coming from sign up action is coming from text column so t dot sign up action is equal to verified let me go ahead and run this see if it keeps only those rows so if you look at it our output it only keeps where the sign up action is verified and we also need to make sure that the difference between the sign up date and the action date is only one day because the question asks us to check that right if you look at our questions again it says who verified their sign up on the second day right so let me just drag it back okay now we also need to make sure that and the date diff so this function basically checks between the two dates how many days are present so date diff action date and sign up date the difference in days should be equal to one if i go ahead and run this again so if we look at our output so obviously both are verified and 14 15 june 20th and 21st august okay now once we have all the information in the output we only need to keep the user id so let's instead of having all the columns let's let's keep only the user id column let so if i go ahead and run this it only has the user id column now we also need to order this by user id in ascending order so if i let me just drag it down and at the end we order by user id in ascending order let me go ahead and run this so now if you look at it our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this pass all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how we do it so yes somewhat tricky question but what we had to basically do was we had information in two different tables and obviously to get that we had to perform a join we also learned about why we are doing an inner join and then we only kept those rows where action was verified and the difference between the action date and sign up date is one because the question asked us when the sign up was verified was the next day so once we had that we only kept the user id because that is what was required and we ordered by user id in ascending order so yeah this is how we do it let me know in the in the comment section if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video